Dear sons and daughters of planet Earth, I am Sananda. I believe you have already received many applauses for the work you have done. We won't be here to feed the ego of each one of you. It was a job well done, but necessary for your journey. So there's no need to go on talking about it. Today I want to start another very important subject. We will have another meeting this year. It can already be a physical meeting with much more freedom than before. Today I will give the guidelines of what should happen on the 12th of November 2022. What I need is to address myself to each group of the Letters of Christ. Theoretically, all of you are linked to a city, to a place. So pay close attention to what I am going to say here. Do not ask a million questions. Everything will be very clear. The rules will be as follows. Each group of the Letters of Christ will meet to do an action for the planet. What action will it be? I do not know. You will choose. There are many actions that can be done for the planet. Search. Don't just sit around waiting for someone to tell you what to do. Do your own research. Join with those who already know. Those who are not linked to any group, I would say they are isolated, will also do an action for the planet. And what would this action be? I do not know. The answer is the same. Look for something you can do. Look for something to teach people how to take care of the planet. And this way everyone will be involved. Those who are in the groups will act as a group. Those who do not belong to a group or who do not have conditions to be with a group will do it alone without any problem. So this action will be for everyone. All those whose hearts resonate with what I am asking. If you do not feel like doing anything, that is all right do nothing just take part in the other stage that i will now speak about besides the actions spread all over the planet we will have a physical meeting in a place to be determined what would this place be like a place that can have an infrastructure to receive many people in a single day so I ask each one of you, who may know such a place, to make it known. But there is one detail. Many of them are going through serious financial difficulties, but this is not the subject here. So these people will not be able to travel to this place that will be chosen. All the events that will take place there, in the chosen place, will be broadca broadcast to everyone. We will make a program and at a certain time, everything that will be happening in this place will be broadcasted. And these people who go to this place will have other tasks to accomplish. Everything will be informed in due time. You will notice that it is all very simple. There is no complication, no desperation and no anxiety. We have a good amount of time before the day arrives. Then the ve venue will be sought out, hired and those who can go will go. 
those who cannot will watch live because it will be broadcasted at the time of the event. In parallel, each group will do an action on the planet. Whoever does not have a group or cannot be with the group will do an individual action. The important thing is that each person does their part for Gaia. Gaia needs your help. So research how you can act and invite others to act with you. It is not restricted only to the people in the letters group. It can be anyone. Then you can join with other groups that are already doing action on the planet and do it together. It will be much easier than starting from scratch. Why am I speaking so far in advance? Because these venues need to be hired in advance and the demand is not fast either. So I ask you, if you know of such places, to make them known so that the necessary steps can be taken to hire them for the day. Further instructions will be given over time. So begin today to search, to agree, to define what you are going to do. Those who are financially able can go to the place that will be chosen. Those who cannot will follow everything live. No one will miss anything. Everyone will do his or her part. So I am launching here the third meeting of the Letters of Christ of Lakam project. But I repeat again, even those who are not part of the groups of letters can participate. The action is in favor of the planet and later I will give more instructions. Complementing all the latest events, I just ask each one of you to keep your heart light, keep your heart vibrating high. Don't lose everything you have already achieved. As it has been said, call upon us at any moment, as often as you need us, and we will be there helping each and every one of you. My mission on this planet is almost complete. Maitreya will take over after the whole ascension process, the new stage of this planet. But never at any time I will abandon any of you because I am not out here. I am not in heaven. I am not in paradise. So you don't even have to call me verbally a thought and I already know that you need help because I am there. At least that's how I hope. Learn to trigger us, learn to ask for our help. Why is it so difficult for many of you to ask for our help? You are always asking each other for help without any shame. Why don't you ask us for help? Do you still have those limiting beliefs that you don't deserve it? That we are up, up there, sitting on golden thrones, watching what you do and judging you? I would like to believe that no one else thinks like that. So why is it so hard for you to ask for our help? always with that answer on the tip of your tongue i don't hear anything i see nothing i feel nothing yet your answer may be coming to you anyway by a phrase said by someone else by something you hear on the radio on television by a song you listen to there will be your answer. But, but you limit it to just hearing or seeing it or feeling it. And because this does not happen, you think you never get the answer. 
as long as you think like that you will never really get the answer because we are not so explicit in saying exactly what you want to hear we manipulate time and situations so that you see what you ask but because your heart is closed through the i don't see i don't hear i don't feel you don't understand the answer is there in front of you but you don't understand I have said this several times here and I will say it again. There will come a time when you cannot ask for help from the other because nothing will work for you. And then what are you going to do? Are you going to run out into the street looking for someone to help you? Are you going to go out in desperation, crying and shouting, I want help, I want help? Or do you know that we are there inside of your heart? Just say, I need help. And it's over. Help will be there. Or is your ego still too high, too strong to admit that you need help? There are many reasons why you don't listen to us, why you don't understand the answers we give you, because we always answer. But you let it go, you do not observe, you do not perceive, and the answer remains up in the air. So we will insist on this many times. Stop asking the others for help. Help has to be asked of us not the other. The other person cannot do anything for you. This lesson is hard for you to learn. It is what I see most often. Help me with this, help me with that, help me so and so. Ah, and the worst, you ask someone else for help, that is the worst. Did the other ask you to ask him for help? Often not. The other person is not even aware of it. And you are asking them. This is an invasion of free will. Haven't you learned this yet? Begin to observe these little slip-ups that you still commit. You want help? ask us for it but do not ask another person the only point at which you can ask for another is when they are still little beings who are not yet in a position to ask for themselves because even those who are in a coma who are in no condition to think you need to ask their higher self for permission to ask for them but you don't do that you keep begging 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 for someone else's energy often it is not even for you but for the other stop it you haven't lost that habit yet You want to help the other person. Send them light. Send them light so that the situation in which they find themselves can be resolved. Perfect. You can do this. But it is not asking for the other, for anyone. Neither for you nor for anyone else. We will insist on this forever. So did you learn? But it seems that it is difficult. I keep seeing you asking for yourself and then asking things for other people. Stop depending on the other to resolve problems that are yours. What happens when you ask the help from another person? 
he or she feels obliged to help you. He did not ask for it. He did not ask you, look, ask me to help you. You have laid on him or her a burden that he or she did not ask for. And then he or she feels obliged to do it. And often they do not do it wholeheartedly. Do you understand the attitude you take? No, many do not understand. Many, many continue to ask another person for help. And once again I repeat, there will come a time when the other will not be there for you to count on. And then what will you do? You have never tried to ask for our help. Then at that moment, will you wake up and ask? Yes, we will be there. We will be there. But you could be much better off if you had asked for help before. Understand, you don't ask anyone for help. People help if they want to. It is your problem. Nobody has anything to do with it. Nobody has to help you. It is your problem. You have to solve it. This is the great closure. This is the great wisdom. There are still many wrong habits in you and that little by little we are making you aware of it and improve so that they are eliminated from your minds because they are not habits compatible with the fifth dimension. That is all. Do not spread your problems. Nobody has anything to do with it. It's your problem. Nobody needs to know your problem. Listen to these words very carefully with an open heart, not with your mind. Let's think of, I can't, I can't see, I don't listen. Let's stop that, because the day you say, I am able to hear, I'm, I'm able to see, I'm able to feel, Everything will change. But this has to be said from the heart and believing every word. Then you will be able to see, hear, feel, whatever is necessary in the moment. Do the test. Believe in my words. You have to change. You have to learn so that the quantity of light you achieved on your journey of forgiveness can continue. We are here to help you, always. But you have to stop doing the wrong things, or at least begin to try. I tell you, it is a start. This message was channeled by Vania Rodriguez and it was read for you by Adriana.